Okay. Um, so for my lesson today, I'm going to uh, do a, another kind of poster. Um, this is a, a classic teaser poster. Um, I have them split up into three categories. Um, the first of which being the, um, the character poster, which this is a character poster, which um, is teasing the main character of your film. Um, and it kind of is used to, um, you know, if, you, if your main character is kind of iconic or whatever. Um, like usually superhero films have a, a character poster. Um, the second one is the logo poster. Um, so here's one for Beaver Vendetta. It doesn't say anything else on it other than just the V um, and Freedom Forever. It's got a little catchphrase down there. Um, and another one that's kind of like a logo poster but is a little different. That's for Matrix. Um, and then, oh, and that's a, that's a good logo poster right there, just the A. Um, and then the, the title post, I mean, the, um, the, the release date poster, which just basically teases when it's going to come out. So this is uh, the, the third season of, um, of Game of Thrones. Um, and so it, all it has is just the date on it. Um, so basically what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to um, make this Half-Life poster here. So that's a Half-Life movie. Um, so I'm going to just drag in a poster into Photoshop just to get the main idea. <sighs> Okay, so there's um, our, th oops, our thing there. Um, that's just for a poster size. Um, and so for this, for starting out, we're going to have a black background. There we go. Um, we can delete that. Um, and then I'm going to find a good picture I got of Steven here. Um, that one's pretty good. Um, so we're just going to drag that in there and uh, pull him over to the back background there. A little big. Medium small. Medium small. Okay, and then basically, as we do that, we're going to take, oh, apply that. Um, we're gonna go up to the image adjustments and we're going to change the brightness and contrast again. Uh, I'm gonna contrast that really high. Do it again. There we go. So that way, we all we want we want basically just the side of his face, a little bit of his arm to be showing up inevitably. Um, and so then we're going to come down here and go to the brightness and make it a little bit darker, just like that. Okay. Then we're going to go into the pen, the paintbrush. Um, and what you're going to do is just kind of make a lot of it very dark and very black. And so this side of his body, we're not even going to see. We're just going to kind of come in here and just be able to see the very edge of his coat. Um, and just kind of get the faint idea that he is there. Um, and then on this side, I'm not going to be like super careful, but uh, if you're doing this for real and not in a time frame, do it better. Um, and then just kind of come through like that, right there as well. And then if you want to kind of go in and make some adjustments there, you can always just make the brush smaller. And basic idea. Okay, so then we have that. Um, we're gonna need to have the logo pop in. So for instance, I'll open this one up here, the, the other one that's the final one. On this one I had two different versions. This one I had the logo. Another one that a lot of people like to do is to um, go in and have the, uh, just kind of integrate the logo into the date, um, kind of like how they did in the, uh, the Game of Thrones one where you kind of have the, the Game of Thrones um, kind of third season idea built into the date. So there I have the Half-Life A built into the fall. Um, and so a lot of these two that I've noticed, like in this one, there's not, a, not, uh, not necessarily a solid white background. This one does, but um, the other ones, you know, or that one does too. Okay, darn it. Um, but a lot of them have kind of like a rustic feel um, to them. So I did drag in a little bit of a, um, uh, a metal in the background here and just um, barely, I had, I took an eraser and brought the opacity of it down to like around five and just went in and just kind of 
erased it a little bit just to kind of give the vague idea that, oh yeah, oh whoops, no, there we go. There is some metal here, and so, you know, just kind of go in and, you know, just kind of gently erase that. Um, on this one, like here, I did take the picture of Stephen and bring down his saturation um, because you want it to look a little more dramatic instead of brightly contrasty and um, very saturated. And so did that. And then uh, after that, I basically, whoops, not that one. Where's the, there we go. Not in the Photoshop. This picture is really nice because it's actually a uh, Illustrator file, so it's from Vector. Um, but then I, I brought this in, and uh, there's a lot of different ways you can kind of integrate the logo. So with, if, you, if I wanted to, maybe I wanted to have like a really big Half-Life logo. In the other one I did, I had a really small one. But for instance, I did one right over here for Assassin's Creed that um, I kind of integrated the logo in it um, and made it really big and made that the center of it. And that's more of a logo poster um, as opposed to um, more centered on a character. Um, but anyway, so with this, since I am going to be centered on a character, make the logo small. Stick it down there, pull up some type, um, and then I'm going to choose to have that the same color. So then I can just be like, yo, eh, crap. Be like, this is when it's coming out. Maybe for this one, I'll put that right there and put the logo above it. Um, and so then basically at that point, um, you don't want to release too much information in your teaser poster because the point of the teaser poster is to tease, ironic. Um, and so the, the idea is to, for your select audience, which here we want Fallout, I mean uh, Half-Life fans, to understand, oh, this is a Half-Life movie and they'll pee their pants and get really excited and then they'll want to come see your movie and they'll be buzzing about it on the internet and that's the idea. So, you know, when like you release the Superman picture, you're like, oh crap, new Superman with darker elements and people pee their pants and they get all excited about it. Um, I still am amazed that that can make people pee their pants, but anyway. Um, so that's the idea behind a teaser poster is just to try to release as little information as possible while telling you when it comes out and everything. 